Magnetised to controversy, Pauline Hanson mops up one outcry. Yes, I do apologise. After flying in the face of decades of medical wisdom backing vaccination of children, the One Nation leader suggested parents seek a safety test first. There is no test. OK, I admit I was wrong with that. One Nation and Senator Hanson have left a mess, which now Malcolm Turnbull and I have to clean up. Now, another Hanson blurt alert. I'm just in the plane now to head to Kalgoorlie for the day. On Facebook, slamming those who'd accused her of selling out to Western Australia in its push for more GST revenue. But at no point have I ever, ever said about stripping it from Queensland, so that is not true at all. Yes, it is true. This, seven weeks ago. Would you be willing to see the GST share of your home state, Queensland, reduced so that WA can get a better deal? Of course I will. No problem. She was basically committing treason on the people of Queensland. Pauline Hanson also faces a legal fight with the couple who've run One Nation's Western Australian branch. They now say the senator has sacked them because of their age. He's 87. She said, and Ron, I'm sacking you from third position on, on uh, agriculture as I believe you're too old. They were initially put in as interim state president and in interim state secretary. We're moving on from there. The fuss capping a controversy-plagued run for One Nation's leader to Saturday's Western Australian election. Tim Lester, Seven News.